Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on using a cumulative frequency graph to estimate the interquartile range. Now I'm going to presume you already know how to generate a cumulative frequency graph and what it is. And if you don't know what it is, then please watch my video on that first. Let's read the question. Javier records the flight times of 80 pigs and produces this cumulative frequency graph. Estimate the interquartile range for the time of flight. Now do you remember what the interquartile range is? It's basically the difference, the interquartile range, or IQR for short, is the difference between the upper quartile and the lower quartile. So it's the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. And what are the upper quartile and lower quartile? We explored that in a previous video, but just to remind you, the upper quartile is 75% of the way along the data. So if we were to line up the 80 pigs in ascending order of their flight time, and we went three quarters of the way along our list, so 75% along the way, and took that pig's flight time, that would be the upper quartile. And then you might be able to guess the lower quartile is 25% along the data. So what is the flight time of the pig a quarter of the way up from the pig with the smallest flight time? Now, a cumulative frequency graph makes it really easy for us to read off that value. We've got 80 pigs. Now, if we want to find the lower quartile first, we want to go 25% along the pigs. Well, what's 25% of 80? What's a quarter of 80? It's 20. So we want to go along to the 20th pig. So we go along the 20th pig on the cumulative frequency, and then we work our way down, and then we read off that value. So this value here is the lower quartile. So the lower quartile, I'm going to estimate roughly 160 seconds, because the unit of time here is seconds. And what's the upper quartile? Well, we want to go 75% along the data, so that's three quarters of the way along. What's three quarters of 80 pigs? That's 60, so we want to find the flight time of the 60th pig. There'll be three quarters of the way along. So we look up the 60th pig, come down, and make sure you show these lines as evidence of your working. And then I would say that's maybe like 260 seconds. So that's the upper quartile there. And then the interquartile range is just the difference between the two. So the interquartile range is the 260 minus the 160, which is 100 seconds. And that is the final answer.